Já moc děkuju. Předem se omlouvám. Thank you very much. I'd like to apologize. I was supposed to have the first presentation, but uh, uh, the Czech railways uh, actually uh, failed, and I was supposed to travel two hours and finally traveled six hours, so I'm happy I uh, made it at least as the third presenter. So I'd like to guide you through the basic qualification study we offer in our pedagogical institute, which is the um, director manager or principal manager. It was uh, first uh, called uh, the qualification study for the directors of schools and educational institute. Her colleague has already uh, Introduce me. I'm, uh, I'm I'm working for the National Pedagogical Institute of the Czech Republic. Uh, Mr. Ivo Yupa is the director of our organization. You have already met him, and he introduced our organization at the beginning. He said that the long-term support for the school leaders is one of the basic principles of our work and the topics we would like to focus focus on in the future as well. Now I'd like to present the qualification study. In my presentation, I'd like to talk first briefly about the current qualification study, then a few remarks about the history, because this is the, the oldest qualification study for school leaders in the Czech Republic. So therefore, there has been um, some development over the history. Then, uh, we will speak about the conditions because this is obligatory by law. So how the qualification study uh, respond to the development and to the current situation and then experience from a long-term implementation of this study. I would also like to speak about evaluations and updates <coughs> and why we implemented a substantial innovation of this study this year, uh, why we made adjustments. The main focus is on leadership on how uh, we should work with school principals, even though uh, this is the basic qualification study, which is mandatory or obligatory for all school uh, principals. It should not be only set of knowledge, but uh, it should also <coughs> be connected to uh, leadership uh, abilities. Basic goals, historical development. After 2000, most Czech school became legal uh, persons and the school principals became the highest uh, positioned leaders of their schools that were forced to lead and manage the school in all respects. The state responded to that and they said it is necessary for the school leaders to attend a specialized program in order to receive the basic information from various areas that are necessary for uh, the discharge of the function. The areas focused mainly on legal aspects, on school financing, and in general on the organization of educational process at school, and also at managerial competences, because uh, the school principal became the manager of their schools, he uh, or she became a person uh, who was supposed to set the vision for their school because they were fully autonomous, they had tools, uh, curriculum, uh, 
stavěl a potom based on which uh, they actually uh, prepared uh, various uh, uh, subprograms. And uh, now a few remarks from the history. Co se týká As far as implementation is concerned, the qualification studies uh, started to be organized in 2003 by law, and since that time, every year, our pedagogical institute uh, uh, provides that in all 13 uh, branch offices, because we have branch offices in all regions uh, of the Czech Republic. Uh, so uh, there are 13 altogether, and we organize qualification study for um, the principles of schools and educational institutions. On average, during one school year, we were able to train 250 to 300 uh, newly qualified uh, principles that can perform the function. This leads to the creation of a network uh, that our institute has, because if you start to work with newly qualified principles, it is the best moment to uh, start to provide support, collaborate with them, to offer them further possibilities. Previous speakers uh, spoke about that and I was actually supposed to speak as the first and they were supposed to follow on that so that uh, you could see it is not only about this basic uh, study, basic education and hard facts and knowledge, but it's also possible to develop um, soft skills and other areas. So this network works well. I think uh, it is a trusted study and I um, think that we uh, do it quite well and it's beneficial for uh, the school principals. We have uh, been doing that for like 15 or 20 years and after this period of time we have a high quality team of collabor collaborators uh, with them you can innovate the study. Now, as for legal requirements, uh, the, this uh, course is uh, obligatory if you want to be the principal of a school or educational institution, you have to comply with uh, particular legal requirements in compliance with uh, uh, the uh, Section 5 uh, paragraph two of uh, the of the Act 56304, and you also have to comply with this qualification studies in two, within two years since being appointed as principal. The decree number 317.05 defines what should be the content of the qualification and the minimum of lessons learned, which is uh, 100. There are four information thematic areas, which is, are the fundamentals of law, educational law, the labor law, yeah, with focus on uh, work with the employees and anything concerning the labor issues, for example, concluding the contracts, agreements, uh, all these principles have, are responsible for, uh, this is a burden for them, but they, they are the only statutory representative at the school with the right to solve uh, and cater for such uh, things within the school. 
třetím oblasti bylo financování školy. They usually have an agreement concluding with the, concluded with the entity which does the financial part of it, but he is the executive person who is responsible for uh, all the financial issues and whatever he approves, he has to know what he is approving. And the fourth uh, thematic area is the school organization and the organization of pedagogical process. So as you can see, the organization, the, the pedagogical process, the management, the leadership as such, uh, there is just one fourth of the whole obligatory course which uh, was quite a frequent comment from the participants of our course. Uh, yes, they were getting lots of good information how they should manage uh, the school, uh, what is uh, the content of a particular pieces uh, of legislation, how to finance the school, but uh, if they wanted to draft the vision to postpone further the school so they were lacking this uh, part of information they wanted to go deeper into it this is the reason for the uh, additional courses then uh, the strategy 2030 uh, that takes into account the leadership and it's mentioned in particular in the strategy so that's uh, an, uh, another piece of document which helped to redraft, redraft uh, this uh, course and uh, supports the idea of pedagogical lead. We would like to present uh, the course as a course for pedagogical leaders uh, and we, we, we refreshed course will be launched for the first time in autumn this year part of it uh, is done in form of a e-learning so the participants may repeat the information they have received during the uh, present during the courses face-to-face uh, -face courses very briefly, the innovation of the course uh, 2022 takes into account the ideas of the strategy 2030. It's a combination of face-to-face -face and e-learning forms, so greater flexibility and greater efficiency of studies, deeper activation of participants as there is a possibility for reflection, self-development, uh, self-management should be, should be reflected in the follow-up modules of the individual activities and of course uh, there is a new way of organizing the internships uh, internships on a similar type of school to their school and uh, the internships uh, are part of every single module so it means that the participants uh, after studying in theory particular topic then they have the is followed up by an internship where they may discuss uh, the theory and combine it with practice
nové studium, that uh, means we have a new course, so which is called Director Manager, Principal Manager, Combined Qualification Education, uh, the target group being uh, kindergartens, basic school, primary school, secondary high schools, uh, simply all educational, educational institutions, uh, which require obligatory education for the uh, for the principles, uh, the uh, overall number of uh, lessons, 135 uh, lessons, and be implemented uh, again in all uh, the regions of the Czech Republic. This is the new structure as advised. The first is uh, self-reflecting, self-development module. Then there is uh, the basic of uh, legislation, labor law, and uh, people management, financing of the school, there's a module C. We, of course, this simply has to be part of the this um, course, and then uh, module D, which is an introduction into the pedagogical leadership methods uh, and uh, tools. It's the direct. Uh, learning interactive seminars for individual modules with lecturers uh, where they may discuss uh, the individual uh, topics. Um, then uh, e-learning, which is a form of uh, self-studies, a form of educational support, and uh, is additional to face-to-face -to -face, uh, uh, learning, may discuss uh, subsequently with the lecturer of the module. Then uh, written assignments, which as a matter of course have to be, uh, have to be uh, fulfilled in every single module, reflective practice, then every single participant drafts a uh, final thesis. Uh, which should uh, reconfirm the knowledge gained in the course and a final examination where the participant discusses, uh, talks about uh, uh, the particular topics, issues of the thesis, uh, of course, questions from the committee may be asked. Uh, it's, a, it's a sort of a form of an interview or discussion uh, between the committee and the participants. So, the, 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 the participant has to show to the committee that uh, he or she has acquired new knowledge. Here in the first, first uh, column you can see the structure of individual module, on the second column you can uh, see the number of lessons, face-to-face -face lessons, uh, followed by e-learning, which is quite uh, obvious, and the fourth column it's the reflective practice for the individual modules of the course. So the course has 135 uh, lessons, 85, 84 is uh, face-to-face uh, -face learning, 36 is e-learning, and 15 uh, internships and reflective practice. Now briefly about the internship, internship uh, which is the practical training actually. It's uh, a visit to 
principle with ex experience principle selected by Czech school inspection uh, district uh, school office uh, the we know about the particular principle uh, he's uh, already experienced he is uh, leading and managing and has uh, great uh, results that uh, means that subsequently the grew small groups of two to five participants uh, visit the particular principal at school, they discuss uh, the topics of the module, they discuss what issues they are fighting with, uh, coping with, uh, they try to share their experience and it's both way learning and teaching. So that's on the internship and very briefly I would like to mention a couple of words on the thesis, final thesis. The main goal of it is uh, for the participants to be able to use uh, the terminology in both in the finance, uh, legislation and other areas concerning the management of the school. Then, of course, it's uh, also uh, important they would be able to uh, show the ability to summarize uh, and present the content of the thesis because uh, the principal should be able to present whatever the school is doing. They should be able to uh, present it publicly. Uh, and of course, uh, within uh, the presentation of the final thesis, they should also demonstrate knowledge and skills acquired during the studies. Yeah, but what is the most important is to see how the principal is able to uh, present himself or herself to the parents, students, uh, founders, public in general. And a final exam, I have already mentioned that briefly, so not to repeat. It's partly you have uh, you have to then discuss the, the thesis. Mm, the internship is also mentioned. Uh, whether they consider it fruitful or not, uh, what are their feelings about it, or whether there, there were any particular issues that they have, for example, heard for the first time about uh, certain topics. So all that can be part of the final, final exam. An internship in general is highly appraised by the participants of the course and of course the final uh, exam should verify the acquired knowledge that has already been mentioned. The person graduating from our course uh, to be able to receive a, sort of a certificate, they have to comply with several conditions or preconditions. Uh, that uh, is at least 80% participation in direct uh, dial, direct. Uh, and face-to-face -face lessons, then of course they have to comply with the conditions of the e-learning, there are certain tasks, homeworks which have to be uh, delivered, submitted. Uh, Etc. Etc. They of course have to participate on uh, the reflective practice. They have to draft the final thesis. The final thesis uh, should uh, have uh, ten to twenty-five uh, pages. So it's not uh, excessive. Uh, excessive writing, but the principle should, uh, should prove that uh, he has the knowledge needed 
for the management of uh, the institution. So these are the most important conditions uh, needed to be complied with to be able to graduate from the course if uh, the participant uh, is successful, uh, also with uh, the final, uh, final examination, then uh, he receives the certificate. And, uh, Ne, we are near at the very end. We now have an innovative course uh, prepared. Uh, well trained lecturers uh, are selected and will be available. We have uh, some brand new trainers for primary focus on the leadership, then, of course, the content technical and e-learning part of the study is already prepared. Uh, originally, in the uh, previous form of uh, the course, there was no e-learning available at, uh, at all. Logistics and preparation of the courses in all the region is already done. And currently, we are only working on the evaluation of the whole course, the educational program, and that's actually an integral part of the program, and we are now preparing the new evaluation of the current amended courses. We already in some of the regions, the first introductory uh, session has already been launched, and next year, June, uh, we should have first uh, graduates from the course, uh, and we shall see what feedback we'll be getting, what will be the evaluation, what they will like and what they will not like, what they will consider important or excessive. Maybe they will consider some bits and pieces even excellent. Of course, that's a question of future development. That's all on my behalf. Thank you very much uh, for your attention. Originally, this was supposed to be presented by a colleague of mine, Ivana Kozak. Unfortunately, she is ill. Uh, so I, I was a substitute to her. Thank you very much uh, for paying attention, for patience. If I would be able, I will offer of course, answer all uh, your questions. If I won't be able, then of course uh, I will ask a colleague of mine and we will send it to you by email.